So it's uh, 20 years since the Waikato deed of settlement was signed by Te Ariki Nui, Te Atairangi Kahu. The settlement had a cash and land value of $170 million and was the first for historical injustices from the land wars period. It's been a very public affair. Waikato Tainui came under media and public scrutiny and opposition from both Māori and Pākehā. Mm. Despite a rough period early on with some poor investment decisions, a financial overhaul and the separation of the Kingitanga from Tainui business enterprise has paid dividends. Paul Tucker might be with this report. Nana Muchi and her world famous Kopi Kopi, a unique Tainui dance of celebration. 20 years ago, Tainui Ruru he celebrated in similar fashion. In fact, it was a day of celebration for Tainui's old and young. Tainui and the Crown gathered here at Tūranga Waiwai Marae, the heart of Tainui country, the deal putting to rest 150 years of bitter land grievances. When we began the negotiations, we knew that they would not be easy. With the speeches over, it was a simple case of signing the dotted line. But some weren't impressed. The New Zealand flag means nothing, and I don't think it should fly on this marae. This raupatu haka from Te Wharekura o Rākau Manga Manga is the closest thing you'll find to a protest today in comparison with 1995. Looking back, um, it, it, you could say, I suppose, that um, the confusion reigned yes. at the beginning. It's been a hell of a journey, yeah. Uh, 20 years ago I opposed the deed of settlement. Uh, we've done an occupation, we didn't agree with the deed of settlement. The same settlements that we expressed in 1946 were, were still echoing through right up to that point. Why are we accepting blood money for these things? And then the, when the, the old man pushed that uh, i riro whenua atu i hoki whenua mai whakatauki, and the old man, one of his favourites was uh, tuku manda tuku taonga i raro te kingita. Oh, quite hostile. It took a lot of courage uh, to convince the tribe and New Zealand that we were ready to go into a settlement process. Um, from within the tribe there was a lot of criticism that this was um, far below what Waikato deserved uh, and that the settlement was in fact selling um, our people out. Um, despite that, uh, Dad had the conviction of, of what he believed was right at that time and the best deal that he could get on the table and at the end of the day the principles that he held on to were quite clear in the settlement uh, and that there was a strong land component uh, within the settlement and it wasn't about money. But unfortunately both Māori and Pākehā thought it was all about the money. I had to sell it to New Zealand <laughs> and uh, so I went to Rotary Clubs by the hundred uh, you know, twice a week for years I would say uh, somewhere or other in the country and I'd, when I first started it was sort of like talking to uh, you know, people just hostile they, they didn't understand uh, but bit by bit, uh, they came to understand what the issues were. We were able to put together some packages that seemed to be acceptable to everybody. Waikato Tainui we launched we the land settlements in a difficult time for race relations. They're not commercial negotiations. These are political negotiations of the highest kind. Naruto ie ni poti tanga fukaro, a fukai te te poari o tainui ki a fukarite hea tau a kawanata, e fukatau i te harata karauna o te rā rautau. And when we first started, we, of course, we, we started first with Waikato because they wanted to get on with it. They had a strong leadership in the Kingitanga and, and uh, um, with uh, Sir Robert Mahuta and his team. Uh, there was no point going off to the Waitangi Tribunal and being told what we already knew, what happened. So we sat down, and we sat down and did it in a rather unusual way. Instead of sitting across the table, 
uh, in a sort of adversarial way, we, we, we sort of sat amongst each other. Uh, and uh, we tried to say to each other, the only way we're going to succeed in this is if you understand where our problems are and we understand what your problems are. And we've both got to help each other overcome them. Labour MP Nanaia Mahuta is well aware not everyone sung the same tune of success. We've at least trebled what, uh, quadrupled possibly, uh, what was offered in the settlement and that's by our own uh, determination and that's what the settlement represented. Although it was just a smidgen of what was lost, uh, it was up to the tribe to make something from it. And it hasn't been without uh, trial and trouble and internal bickering and dispute and a lot of uh, hurtful things happening. You know, and people would prefer to push that under the carpet, but really those are the lessons uh, for the tribe about how we need to commit to doing things better for the next generation, but also what, it, what kind of leadership is going to be required uh, to gain the confidence that the collective aspiration of the tribe is in the, our best interest, not dissipating and frittering away the settlement. Most people have moved on. Like former protester Robert Tukiri, has since been a Te Arataura executive member, a current Kohanga Nui rep, but continues to challenge. Well, I can't change the past. Yes. Well, I can help change the future, and part of that change is to celebrate. If we're going to celebrate, celebrate. And make the tribe, our corporate tribe, pay for it. Share it with the people at the bottom who are not getting it. And they're looking again, complaining, and who can blame them? Wirumu Puke, the son of Hare who chaired the Puari of Tainui during the settlement, reflects on his father's work. It's good to look back at times and to see how, where we've come from and not lose sight of the past. Sometimes we can be too forward-looking and we forget about the times that have come, come with it. If I was to, to look forward into the next 20 years, one of the things I'd like to see eventually is our own hospital. We become involved in a, you know, to commercially grow our tribe, but also to develop its strength in other areas as well, to develop its strength in its, in, in its uh, potential of today, uh, to be, uh, to participate on the international front uh, in various academic uh, circles, to ensure that hapu. This is a big thing for me. They lose their identity. Sir Robert Mahuta certainly stamped his mark on the settlement. Look, I just want to uh, say that on behalf of our little family, uh, everything that Dad achieved uh, alongside Te Ata, uh, alongside uh, the old people, uh, was about a sense of duty and obligation to restore uh, justice uh, for the raupati that had occurred. But the reason was that he wanted the next generation to be able to benefit. And if I take anything away uh, from his leadership, he was all about the next generation doing better than what he did. And uh, he's left some challenges there. Uh, and we've got to grow that kind of leadership, but I'm confident we can do it. The confidence of tomorrow and the courage of yesterday gives Nguyen Ruruhi another opportunity to copy copy.